Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're an investor looking to maximize your returns and build wealth over time, you're in for a treat. In this video, we're diving into the world of dividend reinvestment plans, or DRIPS. These plans offer a powerful way to supercharge your investments by automatically reinvesting your dividends. So, grab your notepads, because we're about to explore how DRIPS can help you make the most of your money. Understanding Dividends Before we jump into DRIPS, let's talk about dividends. Dividends are a portion of a company's earnings that it distributes to its shareholders. They can be a valuable source of passive income for investors. What are Dividend Reinvestment Plans (DRIPS)? Dividend Reinvestment Plans or DRIPS, allow investors to reinvest their dividends back into purchasing more shares of the same company's stock. This automatic reinvestment can lead to compounding growth over time. The power of compounding, compounding is the magic that makes DRIPS so effective. By reinvesting dividends, you not only own more shares, but those additional shares can also earn their own dividends, creating a snowball effect of growth. Benefits of DRIPS DRIPS offer several advantages. They help you accumulate more shares without the hassle of manual reinvestment, reduce the impact of market volatility, and allow you to buy fractional shares. How DRIPS work DRIPS are typically offered by companies directly or through brokerage platforms. When a company pays dividends, those funds are automatically used to buy additional shares at the current market price. Dollar Cost Averaging with DRIPS DRIPS naturally implement a dollar cost averaging strategy, where you buy more shares when prices are low and fewer shares when prices are high. This helps smooth out the impact of market fluctuations. Tax implications, while DRIPS are a fantastic way to reinvest dividends, it's important to be aware of potential tax implications. Dividends reinvested through DRIPS are still considered taxable income in most cases. Choosing the right stocks for DRIPS, not all stocks are eligible for DRIPS, so do your research before investing. Look for companies with a history of stable dividends and a strong financial position. DRIPS versus manual reinvestment, you might wonder whether to use DRIPS or manually reinvest your dividends. DRIPS can be more convenient and disciplined, but manual reinvestment gives you more control over timing and allocation. Setting up a DRIP If you're interested in setting up a DRIP, check if the companies you're invested in offer them. You can usually enroll through their investor relations website or contact your brokerage. Monitoring your DRIP Just because DRIPs are automatic doesn't mean you should set and forget. Regularly review your investments, monitor dividend growth, and ensure your portfolio remains aligned with your financial goals. Potential downsides of DRIPs While DRIPs have numerous benefits, they're not without potential downsides. Some investors may prefer receiving dividends as cash for immediate use or may want to invest in different opportunities. How to leverage DRIPS in your investment strategy Incorporate DRIPS as part of your long-term investment strategy. They're especially effective when combined with a diversified portfolio and a focus on companies with consistent dividend growth. Keeping a balanced portfolio Remember that while DRIPS can be a powerful tool, it's important to maintain a balanced and diversified portfolio that aligns with your risk tolerance and financial objectives. And there you have it, our guide to maximizing your returns through dividend reinvestment plans. Whether you're a seasoned investor or just getting started, DRIPS offer a smart way to grow your wealth over time. By harnessing the power of compounding, you can let your money work harder for you. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to our channel.